Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to install Bridge Commander Remastered, the mod, or BC Remastered. Now you're going to have to install this to a separate, basically a separate Bridge Commander installation, as it's not compatible with Kobayashi Maru or really any other mods. I wouldn't recommend modding uh, Bridge Commander Remastered either, as it doesn't seem to play nicely with other mods. So first of all, you're going to have to install a, a second um, Bridge Commander installation. So the way to do that, if you're using the GOG or the good old games version, which most of you probably are, when you're in the setup screen, let's just see, where did I put setup? There it is. So I'll just show you. Your installation screen may look slightly different, but it's the similar thing. So when it asks you to do a destination folder, it will default to, it will say GOG games, games, bridge commander. Uh, you just want to put BC remastered. So it will create a separate installation. So you can do this if you already have it installed. Now, just remembering with GOG, you need to download the offline installer for Bridge Commander. So the way to do that would be to go to the actual website itself and log in, click uh, download the offline installer. It should be under your purchased games. And then it will allow you to specify which path to install it to. So just call it BC Remastered basically. Once that's installed, you should be able to go to program files, GOG Galaxy games. And in theory, you should see it around there if that's where you've installed it. So you'll see your other Bridge Commander installation and you'll see your BC Remastered version. Once you go inside the BC Remastered folder, what you're going to need to do, let me just see. Now I've already installed it, but I'm just going to show you what it will look like. So BC Remastered. So you're going to have to, and this sounds a bit strange, but you're going to have to delete data, scripts, SFX. So best way of doing this is just to hold the control key down, click each one. Now, if you're using the GOG version, the patch will already be installed. If you're not using the GOG version and you're lucky enough to have the ISO or the CD, um, the first thing you need to do is install the 1.1 patch. So you just drag that into the folder and install it. But well, most of you are going to be on GOG anyway. So just do this. So we're going to delete data scripts and SFX. So basically most of the actual thing. Quite a big install. Now, you would have downloaded um, the BC Remastered mod. I've put a link in the description. So it's quite simple, really. Uh, you just do again, control, hold control down, click data, scripts, SFX, and the options. Drag it over, let go, replace the files. Okay. And that should be it. Now, very important tip. I always say this when you've modded Bridge Commander, you have to run this as an administrator. If you don't, it won't work properly. Simple as that. And I have actually noticed it can sometimes mess up your installation and your mods. So here we go. Let's have a look. Now it should default to full HD. There we go. Now you might find some of the controls are set differently. I have to modify them personally because I do it completely differently. But I'm just going to show you what um, ships you get as well. Some of you may already know this, but if you don't, it's it's pretty impressive. And the modeling on them as well is incredible. Let's have a look. So yeah, we've got way more than the stock installation. Um, look at that, we've got the Stargazer Constellation, um, Miranda, Luna, Riker ship, the uh, Titan. We've got both versions, the Sovereign class. And let's see, we've got some other goodies. We've got the bio ship, the Undyne, Species 8472. And we've got the Armoured Voyager. Now that, in my opinion, is the best version of the Armoured Voyager you can possibly get for Bridge Commander. So 
it's worth it just for that, in my opinion. And there's all sorts of others. We've got um, a sonar cruiser as well, which I've never seen before. Delta flyer. Uh, we also have a version of the scimitar. Now, I like this version. It can cloak, but it can't fire whilst cloaked. But that, in some ways, I find that better than Kobayashi Maru because it just cloaks in Kobayashi Maru and it's not a fair battle. And it just goes on for hours, basically. But with this, you get to use the full power of it and it's fully represented. This is this is the scimitar, in my opinion. It's incredible. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I've forgotten here. Um, we have the Dominion... Yeah. We have the very powerful Dominion ships, uh, the one that the Red Squad Defiance, unfortunately, didn't do too well against. Um, we've got some rather strange Obsidian Keldon there as well, with some weird upgrades. And we have an Assimilation Cube. That's the really, really powerful Bug Cube. I believe that's the one that was sent in First Contact. So it's very powerful. We then have the standard Bug Cube. Tactical cube, and in terms of bases, you spoil for choice. Really, this Deep Space Nine version is incredible. It's the, it's the best Deep Space Nine mod out there. It's the one that would have been upgraded during the Dominion War, and it's very very powerful. So I hope that helps you. Um, if you get stuck or need any more advice, just comment below, and I'll do my best to help you. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.